Today I'm in the greenhouse and I'm going to make some chlorophyll prints using these giant cucumber leaves. I'm going to select a large cucumber leaf and one more. I've got two big cucumber leaves here to make my chlorophyll print. I'm going to collect some other pieces to put on top of the cucumber leaves. Some tendrils, a flower, and some tomato leaves. So here are some of the items I'm going to make my chlorophyll prints out of. Tomato shoots, cucumber flowers and tendrils, flat leaf parsley and basil. So now the items are arranged on the cucumber leaf and I've put them in a clipped frame. Cucumber flowers, tendrils, tomato leaves and some basil leaves. And on this one, flat leaf parsley and cucumber tendrils. I'm going to leave these in the sun till tomorrow and we'll see what we've got then. Hello, it's Ruth Jacobs back again and we're going to look at the cucumber leaf chlorophyll prints that have been out in the sun all day today. It's now sunset and I'm going to see what they look like. They have changed colour. There's one and there's the other. I'm taking off the clips and I'm going to remove the glass. And here we have a chlorophyll print. Oh wow. It's very delicate. Printing has definitely occurred. And I'm going to take the clips off the other clip frame and we'll see what's happened here. These leaves are very delicate and they're slightly stuck to the glass, so be very careful. Oh, that's a bit dried up. Oh, it's crunchy. So here are the two finished cucumber leaves. I love the colours and I love the way this flower has come out. Slightly transparent. The sun went through the petals. And the way those cucumber tendrils have turned out as well. I really like that. Here's the other one. Great. 